So, pancreas contains endocrine activity and exocrine. In the endocrine, it deals with the secretion of hormones. We will discuss about in endocrinology. And in exocrine, it deals with the secretion of pancreatic juice. So, we will discuss about the structure. In pancreas, it is also made up of acini or alveoli. These connect to form the intercalator duct. So all these intercalator duct combines to form virsan duct. This virsan duct Combines with the common bile duct and it forms the ampulla of water. Virsam duct combines with the common bile duct to form the ampulla of water. Next, properties. So, first one, volume. So, 500 to 800 ml of pancreatic juice is secreted per day. Then, pH. It is highly alkaline. So, it is due to the presence of Bicarbonate. It pH range from 8 to 8.3. Then specific gravity. Specific gravity ranges from 1.010 to 1.012. It, it also consists of three phases. Cephalic, gastric and intestinal. And the fourth is interdigestive phase. In cephalic phase it is further divided into Conditioned and unconditioned reflex. So in unconditioned reflex, the pancreatic juice secreted when by seeing the food or by smelling the food. In conditioned reflex, it, the pancreatic juice is secreted when the food is in the mouth. So this phase starts from the mouth and it contributes up to 20% of the pancreatic juice. Then gastric. It starts when the chyme enters the stomach and it contributes up to 10 percentage. And intestinal phase. It starts when the chyme enters the intestine and it contributes about 70 percentage of the pancreatic juice. So, interdigestive phase is the phase when the pancreatic juice is secreted in case of fasting or in between meals. So, the cephalic phase, it is totally neural control. It is controlled by the vagus nerve. Then, the gastric phase is controlled by both neural and the hormonal. So it is controlled by vagus nerve and gastrin. 
then intestinal phase it is totally controlled by the hormone so it is controlled by the hormone secretin so these are the phases of secretion of the pancreatic juice next we will discuss about the enzymes in the pancreatic juice pancreatic enzyme helps in the digestion of proteins and lipids it consists of proteolytic enzyme and lipolytic enzyme so in proteolytic enzyme it consists of trypsin hemotrypsin carboxy peptidase then nuclease collagenase then elastase then in lipolytic enzyme it consists of pancreatic lipase cholesterol ester hydrolase phospho lipase a phospho lipase b then colipase these are the lipolytic enzyme which are present in the pancreatic juice so what is the function of trypsin it helps in the conversion of chemotrypsinogen into chemotrypsin then pro carboxy peptidase into carboxy peptidase pro nuclease into nuclease then pro elastase into elastase and pro colipase into colipase this is the major proteolytic enzyme these helps in the these all enzyme helps in the breakdown of proteins then nuclease it helps in the breakdown of dna and rna to mono nucleotides then collagenase it helps in the breakdown of collagen then elastase it helps in the breakdown of elastic fibers so that's all about the proteolytic enzymes then we'll go to the lipolytic these all enzymes helps in the breakdown of fats so if there is any deficiency in the lipolytic enzyme it will leads to steroporia that is foul clay colored stool which are, it occurs due to the improper breakdown of fats then that's all about the enzymes which are present in the pancreatic juice next disorders first it causes pancreatitis that is inflammation 
ऑफ एसिनी और पैंक्रियाटिक सेल्स इट मे बी टू टाइप्स दट इज अक्यूट पैंक्रियाटाइटिस एंड क्रॉनिक पैंक्रियाटाइटिस सो अक्यूट पैंक्रियाटाइटिस अकर्स ड्यू टू स्मोकिंग alcoholism then the chronic pancreatitis occurs due to chronic smoking chronic alcoholism then it due to occurs due to the obstruction of duct that is virsum duct then cystitis due to cysts present in the pancreas then it also occurs due to gall bladder stones so main problem about the symptoms will be nausea vomiting pain in abdomen and stearo